Welcome to the 4C Fitness Show, starring Michelle and Lisa Cast, live from Skinny Man 31 Studios in the heart of Times Square, New York. And now, here are your hosts, Michelle and Lisa Cass. Hi everyone, it's Wednesday, December 17th, 2014. Welcome to episode 52 of the 4C Fitness Show, where our motto is choose, commit, challenge, and change. I'm Michelle. And I'm Lisa. We are so excited to have Emily and Gina from EKG Project joining us today to talk all about bringing food back to life and their paleo baked goods, which we have here on the table, and I cannot wait to try. They look really good. Sorry, you guys can't see them that close. (laughs) You probably want to jump through the the screen. They're just going to go get them themselves. (laughs) That's right. What better time of year than now to indulge on some treats that actually won't make you maybe feel so guilty. So, yeah. Looking forward to it. Thanks for having us, guys. Of course. Thanks for being here. For those of you joining us for the first time, Michelle and I began our weight loss journey back in 2008 when we auditioned for a little known show called The Biggest Loser. Uh, Maybe you've heard of it. (laughs) Uh, We did not make it onto the show, unfortunately, but it's okay. It's all right. We did all right. We did pretty good. I guess. On our own. We could do better. We didn't need it. We didn't need Jillian (laughs) or Bob. No, they they were there for the journey though. A little bit, (laughs) but uh, we lost 240 pounds combined after not making it onto that show and um we've been working it out on our own ever since and we are here to continue to share our journey with you guys and we started 4c fitness because along the way people would ask us how we were seeing so much success with our weight loss we realized our passion to help others i got my nasm personal training certification and we started the show as a health and fitness resource we forge partnerships with other health and fitness enthusiasts and professionals like ekg here to bring a variety of sustainable information to our followers as the fitness world continues to grow and change our mantra is the four c's choose commit challenge and change we feel these four components are the key to creating a successful, healthy lifestyle. And we want to thank everyone who's been tuning in for all the support that we've gotten. And uh, we hope you guys continue to reach out to us and let us know what you're interested in so we can bring you great shows and more good treats. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> for us. <Okay. laughs> um, thanks, Michelle. So on to some quick noteworthy news points. This is our last show until the new year. And we'll be back in 2015 with a brand new 4C Fitness show. So stay tuned for more info so soon. So exciting. I know. What's in store for 2015? Changes. We'll figure it out. Growing. <laughs> we don't really know yet. That's right. <laughs> what we do know, though, is that I was picked for the lottery for the New York City Half Marathon. Yeah. Yes. Yay. I'm so excited. It's like my first big half. I am doing the Manhattan Half in January, but I'm kind of counting that as like a little Trial. bit of a training run and see how it goes. Um, the New York City Half will be the first big exciting one, so I'm looking forward to that and that was an exciting day. That was so fun. It was like Christmas. You got chosen. I didn't, but it was I like know. Christmas for me too. They might do a second chance. You never know. That's they did true. it last year. No, the part of me, you know, Lisa kicking and screaming on the way to the gym and whatnot. I was sort of like, please Served don't you, right? pick me. <laughs> please don't pick me. I'm not sure I want to do this. <laughs> um, moving on, Reverence Apparel has a pop-up shop. As you know, if you've followed us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, we, you know, we love our Reverence Apparel that we got at one of our Fit Circuit events. Mm-hmm. And they have a pop-up shop on 7th Avenue between 33rd and 34th Street. And on top of their already 25% off all their fitness apparel, just mention the 4C Fitness Show and you'll get an additional 10% off of your purchases. It's a great gift idea, Lisa. For the holiday. It's Christmas next week. (laughs) (laughs) What? Oh, that's right. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, right. I thought we weren't exchanging. No, no, not for any... Just saying, for people in general. Okay, for people, yes, for people for in general. Fitness. You were looking at me like, that's a great gift <laughs> idea, <laughs> wink, wink. Not at all. <laughs> <clears throat> So we do want to thank everyone for a great 2014, and we look forward to new and exciting things for the new year. Thank you guys for coming out to our 50th episode first year party and all the guests yeah, we've had on the show awesome. this year, and so it's been really great, and we're excited to have our last show of the year with these amazing ladies here yes. and teach you guys more about um, EKG, EKG Project. Project. Holler. Holler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I like it. <laughs> we don't have the same brain or anything. <laughs> Not at all. Um, exercise excitement. So we got a new lift routine from Sarah Cost, modified for our schedule and for our running, but just, I'm sure, it, you know, it's hardcore regardless. Oh, yeah. It's Sarah. not so modified. It's just one leg day instead of two. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> which means like cram all the really hard stuff into one session instead of splitting it That's into all. two. Yeah. We'll be okay. That will be fine. We'll survive. Um, and like Lisa said, we'll be training for all our half marathons coming up. We're going to do a, I think I'm going to drag you out on a nine mile run on Saturday. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I can definitely use it considering yeah. our exercise has been lacking due to the holidays and crazy schedule. Yeah. So sad. So we'll just be nice. running a lot and lifting a lot and that's pretty much our life i'm ready for it Done. and emily you love flywheel i do with a specific instructor yeah kate hickel she is awesome nice we've yeah. always we've been we tried to get down to flywheel like a, a zillion, zillion times. times yeah and we just never made it and I, th- I felt like we just sort of like we've heard really good things gave up. We, we miss awesome spin. spin was like our jam for a while yeah, yeah. you'll have to yeah. come come yeah with us. we definitely should yeah, we definitely awesome. should I'm going to make a note to set a date for that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the good thing is it's, it's, it's competitive. So if you uh, like to be number one on the board, oh, yeah. it pushes oh, you to go right. even harder. Oh, yeah. God. You are, yeah. You'll be obsessed uh, with gonna, that. I'm going to kill myself. You're going to be like, I came in what place? <laughs> 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 so much fun. And Gina, you're all about Barry's Boot Camp? I am. I'm there, oh, God, upwards of four times a week. Wow. And, uh, usually, and I didn't note it, but Miss with uh, Rebecca Kennedy. Oh, cool. Yeah, she's my write that. noted favorite, favorite what, uh, what class times are they, evenings or mornings um i'm there every almost every morning cool um pretty much just getting it in before you know by six o'clock I'm, my face is ready to hit you know the pillow so yes, it's better if i get up at 6 a.m and then get it out you know before the day even gets started yeah that's what we try to do with our morning runs yeah so we we hear you on that and then by three o'clock we're like what like, time did we run yeah. today what where are we <laughs> 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 but getting it over with is definitely key so agreed really absolutely cool. and uh the hit list some more ways to get you pumped up, get out of bed and get working out. Um, you gave us a bunch of songs. The first one, which is very holiday-esque. <laughs> Love this. One More Sleep by Leona Lewis. We uh, used to be able to play. Well, we weren't ever able to play Apparently. our music. We were just like fraudulently playing music. On the show. But they shut us down yeah. copyright-wise YouTube. So we can't play the song. But it is a really great song. It's got a great beat. Yep. And it's holiday-themed. I love it so much. It's oh, so I cute. I need to hear it. Like, oh, it's so yeah. awesome. After the show, yeah. we'll play it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been torturing everyone in my cubicle for the past two weeks. Oh my gosh. Repeat. That's amazing. I'm pretty sure I may get fired. <laughs> so no, according to your bio, you're too much of a superstar to get fired. So I don't think so. Okay, I'll take you can it. play that song all you want. <laughs> That's awesome. But a few other um, song choices were The Eye by Mr. North. Yeah, uh, Mr. North. Um, you know, this is a really old song. And this guy is from New York. I don't even think he's, he's not even mainstream. He's just someone that I'd met. And he gave me a CD. That's so cool. I tried to awesome. find him i was like what is she talking I'll have about to send i could it to not you. find it yeah it so definitely good. send it yeah yes. awesome man is my muse we love that song mm. I love, that's, that's a really a good, good song mm-hmm. and Great all, beat. all things beyonce all things yep. beyonce that, w- that would be me yeah. i like to channel my inner diva every single day if it's not <laughs> running around the city in six inch heels it's you know throwing around weights and either way you need beyonce that's absolutely amazing. keeps it going completely agree my kind of gal <laughs> <laughs> completely agree great so we have an awesome article from the magazine rack that the lady shared with us you guys have been in many publications so you were in new chow nyc uh grip dc urban wellness uh well and good which is where we found you guys i'm so glad i reached out i got so excited when i saw that article i was like wait paleo treats <laughs> in new york city now we're all on it <laughs> need to reach out to them uh-huh. <laughs> So that was perfect. But this one's really cool. Glamour Health and Diet, Paleo Baking 101, Tips and Tricks from People Who Do It for a Living. Yeah. So these trips are, uh, tricks were awesome. If anyone is familiar with the Paleo Diet, basically you do rely on lean proteins, fresh fruits and veggies, healthy fats um, from things like nuts and avocados. You do ditch processed foods, grains, sugar, and all unnatural ingredients. But some people say, okay, what does that mean? Do I ever get to have a treat? According to EKG, they're going to make that really easy for you, which is awesome. The point, of course, is moderation. So they're not saying that you're going to go paleo and be able to eat these treats all the time. But we know when we have an occasional cheat and if it's not really clean paleo, you feel the effects of it. So what they're trying to do is combat that, which I am so appreciative. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. So they're aiming to make healthy and expensive non-toxic food options available to everyone. And some tips for you if you're wanting to try it at home because, you know, maybe you can't get into the city, maybe, you know, whatever it is. But they did share. If you're, um, for example, allergic to eggs or you just don't like them, you can substitute organic unsweetened applesauce. Um, It's one of my favorite things to use. Definitely. If you kind of don't feel like you have a knack for coconut oil and you find that when you're cooking, you put it with something cold in your recipe, it can kind of get hard. Oops. You can melt it first before adding it to your batter. Um, If berries, for example, are in your recipe and they're not in season, you can totally head for the frozen aisle. And what I thought was really cool was that you can go right 
frozen right in the bag, right to the batter, right yep. to the oven. Absolutely. Don't have to defrost them or anything. Uh, no. Yeah, that's really I cool. I no idea. Yeah. Number four is actually my favorite. If you're really short on time, which of course we all are, and especially with the holidays, freeze your batter, but in the final shape that they're going to be in, and then they can go right into the oven. Really? Yeah. You guys are killer with these. Yeah. I have to say these wow, tips, right? Ah, tips are great. You. Well, I mean, these are nut flour, so you you know you go ahead and form it, and it can stay in the freezer for several weeks, if not several months. So. That's really good to know. Yeah. So maybe when we're off for Christmas break, we can like make some stuff in advance. My life yeah. has changed. <laughs> Lisa's like mind blown. <laughs> Very moment. <laughs> um, if you don't feel like you have access to paleo uh, ingredients, where maybe you're not from New York City, maybe you're not in, a, in an area where that's possible, you can actually look online or you can try Costco. Sometimes they deliver and they do have the staples at low prices. We've seen... Yeah, in Costco, I'm like, oh, they stuff. have huge coconut oil. Oh, yeah. or, Very surprising. Yeah. It's fantastic prices. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's awesome. It's and like if you're going to go through it nothing. and use a lot of it, then it's really going to be beneficial. But the good, the good thing is most of these ingredients will last you. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah. Um, different brands of the same ingredient may actually taste different. So if you make a recipe and you say, oh, this didn't really go the way I liked it, you might have to try a different brand to try it again. We've noticed with almond butter. That one type of almond butter actually makes the recipe completely different than yeah. another type. Crazy. Like the fresh ground almond butter as opposed make to it like a little the jarred. Sometimes. Like it depends like how moist or how dry it came out. Couldn't oh, yeah. even believe it. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty shocking. So that's really cool. And then also keep your body alkaline. So you don't want to have too many sweets. You don't want to eat too much sugar. A good trick they said is to add a little baking soda to your water. Something I had never even right known. Here. Nice. Yeah, I got it in here. <laughs> and then finally, and I love this too, because this was also in the video that you had shared with me. Yeah, that was great from The Sweat Life. Yeah, really cool. That was oh, a great video. Yeah. That, that was, was fun. That was fun to share. You guys did a great job. Thank you. <laughs> I was actually like, I want to go down and bake with that. <laughs> <laughs> Come but on. if you use bleach-free sheets, which we have not done before, it keeps the toxins that might be in the bleached paper from going into your, into your goods. Absolutely. So. You guys are thinking of everything. Oh, my God. Oh, thanks. Killing it. <laughs> so that was our Every magazine. aspect of the baking. That's Absolutely. awesome. And we'll, we'll get some more tips later if you have any. On to the book review. Uh, the Paleo Approach, Reverse Autoimmune Disease and mm -hmm. Heal Your Body by Sarah Ballant. Valentine? I Valentine? think it's Valentine. Valentine. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Well, I found this really interesting. I read up on it. And, I've you know, we've heard along this journey, your eating can definitely change your whole way of life. It truly can, you know, cure whatever your body might be going through, right. illnesses and things like that. And that's basically what this book is all about. Absolutely. And, you know, I read a little bit of your story and, and your way of eating completely changed your life as well. And it's a real thing. I mean, the things that everyone puts in their mouths, it's, it's, it's affecting you, whether you realize it or not. And, you know, some people are like, oh, you're so fitness and health crazed and what's the big deal? You know, but for some people it can make a huge difference. Right. Definitely. Well, being fit should be 80% diet anyway and only 20% right. fitness. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's how much of a difference it makes to your body. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if you just watch what you put in your body, then you really don't have to spend that much time in the gym if you don't want to. Agree 100%. We've actually kind of been off track of our workouts the past couple of weeks, but I was like, I feel okay because I know I'm eating yeah. well. Yeah. So, um, it's our diet. But what... So you've read this book, so you want to tell us a little bit more about what exactly she goes through here? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, she gets very scientific with it. I mean, mm -hmm. she goes down to the details, to, to things that are happening in, on a cellular level, on a chemical level inside your body. So you can actually skip those chapters if you want to. But I, I mean, she, cool. yeah, but she breaks it down into, um, there's entire pages of what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat if you have like certain issues. Say you have a skin mm -hmm. issue, say mm -hmm. you have like um, stomach issues, IBS, like there are certain things that actually in, inflame those and you right. should stay away from them. And she teaches you how to um, check to see if that's what affecting your body or um, you can and add it back in, you know, some of your favorite see foods. See how you react. Yeah. yeah, see how you react. And so she just, I mean, goes through all the scientific stuff and then she, you know, gets really broad and, you know, see what works, see what doesn't work. And then, you know, my entire life has changed because of it. My IBS has completely cleared up. Wow. Um, there are some other issues that I was having that have just gone from a hundred in terms of what am I going to do about this down to like maybe 10. Like, wow. Yeah, I mean, it's some, some really good stuff all because of I was changing my diet. And this this also applies to things within the um, the healthy food range. So mm -hmm. this is not just like cut out McDonald's and sure, anything right. like that. It's mm -hmm. like you know nuts. I you know I shouldn't eat too many nuts, and nuts right. are healthy for many people, just not for me. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You have yeah. to definitely find what works for you and what doesn't. Which I think the paleo lifestyle always kind of addresses that. And even like when you do like a whole thirty, for example, right. you slowly reintroduce things to see okay, dairy is okay or not okay for me. Mm -hmm. and if you're if you're eating paleo, you're not really even trying to reintroduce dairy right. for the most part. Occasionally, maybe a treat. But yeah, it's really important. I saw she also has a recipe book. Mm -hmm. She does. 
Cool. Yeah. Um, I haven't uh, I haven't been able to make too many things off the recipe mm-hmm. books. We've been trying to come up with our own stuff. But, <laughs> yeah. But That's yeah. helpful, though, for people who, who are trying it on their own. And need some guidance. Really cool. I mean, I have, like, uh, friends and people who I've been, like, they have, like, a health issue. And I'm like, if you just went paleo, you have no idea. All yeah. those issues would go away. Yeah. It's, it's scary for people, though. Well, what's really nice about this book is so many people are like, oh, paleo is just a fad. Paleo is just a fad. And you're like, no, there's science behind this it. This proves, right. This proves that it's it's a way of life for some some people, like, need this to survive. Oh, yeah. yeah. we got to pick this one up. Like, or it was the original diet, too. Obviously. Right? That's it, right? Yeah. Where a lot of these other issues um, didn't exist. Right. Back Before. Then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, I mean, we've evolved. Diets have evolved. Humans have evolved. But the point is, that's what worked then, and that was what was so easy then. And why wouldn't that work now as well? Right. right. So. Really cool. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. Kind that. of along those lines, we have an awesome recipe as well from Emily. Um, mm-hmm. This actually was right up my alley. So organic raw zucchini salad mm-hmm. made with spinach, raw zucchini peels, green apple, avocado, cranberries, and coconut flakes with uh, extra virgin olive oil and balsamic. It's awesome. so good. Did you come up with that on I your did. Own? Yeah. You know, I have to have uh, mini substitutions. I can't have nightshades. Uh, so I throw in cranberries in the fall and winter, and I use strawberries in the summer and oh, spring. Cool. And it's, uh, it's so good. It takes the place of tomatoes, so it's just it delicious. It sounds really good. Nice. Oh, yeah. And now you... Do you have any protein with this personally? or um, Sometimes I'll throw some chicken or turkey nice. on there if I want to. Cool. Yeah, just depending on how much I've had that day. It's so easy. And if you're thinking, I don't want to eat paleo, guess what? That's all paleo. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. And Gina recommended the spaghetti squash with fresh pesto, or also you made lamb meatballs. Yeah, you know, I mean, trying to get away from pasta is really hard. I grew yes. up, you know, Italian. Mm-hmm. So we it's, hear you. You know, I, <laughs> I still have that every Sunday at 2 o'clock. You start thinking, oh, I should right. be rolling meatballs right now. <laughs> and, you know, where's my mom? Right. Um, but about, a, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we were I was having that hankering. So I was I was like, all right, spaghetti squash. I'll do the pesto non-dairy, just olive oil, a little bit of pine nuts. Awesome. Um, and then, you know, figured out, maybe roll some lamb meatballs, throw them in there, see how it came together. And it wound up coming out. Really nice, um, very Mediterranean flair, fresh ingredients. I was going to say, are you Italian or Greek with the lamb? <laughs> <laughs> I know, you know, because you get so used to like chicken or, or right. beef. And no, it's awesome. With shopping, I'm like, well, what else could I do? What, what, what would give it a different flavor? Because, you know, you have to be, with paleo, you do have to be creative. Yeah. Definitely. You have to get an very board. Yeah. Yeah, we eat the same thing every day, so. Yeah. <laughs> but really I think nice. both of these I'm going to add to our food shopping list. Yes. Oh my God, thank goodness. We haven't had spaghetti squash in so long. Yeah, absolutely. Like last winter, I feel like we made it like all the time. Yeah. And I miss it. I wish we actually made a really good spaghetti meatballs with the spaghetti yeah, squash. Yeah, it was well. excellent. Yeah. And I'm going to, I'm definitely going to do this. The cheat of the week. This is like the fourth time we've but had a pizza cheat. Because who doesn't <laughs> love to cheat with pizza? I like know. It is oh the best cheat. And you mentioned Lala. La Lanterna Pizza. La Lanterna. Is this the one on McDougal? Yes. Okay. Have you been there? No, I looked it up. Oh. <laughs> it is so good. Not only is the, the pizza's good, the salad's good. I mean, the ambiance, they have this garden in the back, and it's uh-huh. just, they have these huge lamps. I mean, it is just awesome. I go there every cool. year for my birthday. It's, oh, nice. it's awesome. Really? That's cool. great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I always cheat with pizza. We've been. On my birthday. Yeah. We've been cheating with pizza more than normal lately. We had a, a half a slice on. Sunday. Yeah, to be honest, that's just Yikes. what we've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. But I have to say, since going gluten free, I noticed like afterwards, like a rock in my stomach, and I was like, "Nope, can't do it." Yep. Have to stick to the gluten free pizza if I'm gonna have it. Yep. Which is hard to come by. Well, yeah, it's uh, there's not too much of it in the city. There's one in in um, Union Square. What is that place called? Pie? No. Oh, there's Wild too in the West Village. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Nice. So yeah. you can yeah. find it if you need it. But yeah. I'll have to, we kid you, we'll have to come up with this substitution. You guys should. Yes. We're so. all on it. Nice. Yeah. Paleo <laughs> pizza. Done. Done. Perfect. <laughs> uh, so on to the Real Talk for the week. Um, Real Talk is a segment that we do kind of just talk about, you know, anything that came up unscripted, anything we're going through, challenges. Um, I think for us, it's kind of just balancing right now the holidays with getting ready for Lisa's sister's wedding with, um, you know, keeping up with our routine and f- and not being hard on yourself, which is something that I always struggle with being like, I should be at the gym right now or I should be running right now or I should be not having this cheat right now. Like, I'm really hard on myself <laughs> about that. So I've kind of been trying to say like, okay, it's the holidays. Sleep is just as, is actually more important for my body right now with all the stress that we're going through and my diet. You know, if I want to have a treat here and there, as long as I get right back on track, it's okay. It's really a lot for me. It's like always like a, a so mental, a, an internal dialogue. So it's a mental struggle. And I feel like everyone's struggling this time of year to keep everything up. And they say, and then either you say, screw it, I'm just going to 
go to shit and just come back January 1st, or you say, I'm going to enjoy a little bit and just try to stay steady and not go too too far in one direction or the other, which is, I think, what we're trying to do. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a daily struggle. And I just keep telling myself, it's just one month. Like, it'll be over soon. Right. Like, I'll get back to my routine soon. We all fall victim to it, I think, yeah. for the most part. What about you guys? How do you, you guys feel the crunch right now? Are or, you guys oh. that disciplined that you're not really feeling it? Well, I mean, I, I could say I yesterday after having four hours of sleep, my face hit the pillow and I was I felt the effects of the week. My uh, other than EKG, I'm also in advertising sales where this yeah. is like wow. my crunch time to be entertaining. Um, in the morning, I'm at a different fitness class with my clients, and then at night, right. I'm out. I was at the Knicks games last night, and you know, part of the paleo the life is is sleep. Of course, mm-hmm. sleep is so important, and I just you know if, uh, that's what I for if I'm struggling with anything this week, it's how do I maintain balance between right. um, sleeping and, st- and stress? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think we're feeling that too. The exhaustion is really setting in. I like I added up the shark. total amount of s- hours that we got to sleep, and it was like 13 nine, hours yeah. in what? three days. It was like Sunday, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night. We had slept like 13 hours. Yeah, that's not enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I physically felt my mouth not being able to work <laughs> at the game trying yeah. to speak to a client, and I'm like, I'm not this inarticulate. <laughs> I need to go to bed, dude. Yeah. Uh-huh. When are the Knicks going to lose so I can get out of here? That's <laughs> <laughs> so wrong. Yeah. So I think, you know, Obviously, things will kind of calm down soon for everyone, but it's mm-hmm. about just, I guess, not being too hard on yourself, right, and just doing your best. I think we all struggle yeah, with it, too. Absolutely. So, you know, it just makes us overachievers, and yeah, that's not that's a bad right. thing. <laughs> that's so hang in there, guys. If we can get through it, you'll get through it, too. Definitely. Just a few more weeks. Absolutely. <laughs> so on to the weekly theme, which is all about EKG Project. Woo. So when... Lisa, yeah. <laughs> when Lisa and Michelle hear that there are, I love uh, how you're speaking of yourself in the third person. Yes. When, <laughs> when myself and Michelle, when we hear, <laughs> when we hear that there are paleo treats being sold somewhere in New York City, mm-hmm. we're interested. We're like, where? I, I literally read like one line and I was like, where is it and who are they? Michelle was like, these people are coming on our show. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, immediately we're interested. You know, we enjoy baking our own paleo goodies. We really do. Well, I really do. I do a lot of the baking. Yeah. Um, but, you know, sometimes I just don't want to think about it. I want to be able to know that I can just go somewhere and, and pick it up and it's not going to be like an arm and a leg and, you know, that I know it's going to definitely be, be made with like pretty much the same ingredients that I'm going to use at home. Yeah. Right. So when we found you guys, we were very excited. And it's Yay. like, you can't always go grab a cup of coffee or a tea and, and like you go into Starbucks and you have no options. Like no. You go into, right. you know, and there are some nice coffee shops, but they don't always have. And right. to know that it's like 100% like, well, what, 90% organic? Yeah, 90% it's not organic. 100% but <laughs> non-GMO. <laughs> Correct. Yes. <laughs> so to know that is really, really important. So basically the story of EKG, it took them one week which they, this reminded me of us. Yes. Like literally we, we woke up one day and we were like, 4C, like love it. One week is all it took the first time Emily, George and Gina got together and they decided that they were going to change the world together. Right. Right on guys. Yeah. Just, just one week. So one wintry Saturday morning in early 2014 in the West Village, uh, Gina and Emily were actually up early for an indoor cycling class and they stopped into Press C for a hot drink and George was telling them all about the new shop's offerings including organic teas, vegetables and grass fed uh, range free meats, free range meats, which was awesome and then they kind of, you know, got to thinking, what yes. more could we do with this? Very interested. So, um, they kind of all started a dialogue on this obviously yeah. and um, you know, you guys had a lot in common being fit you know, eating the way you do and realizing that there are truly, you know, no truly healthy non-toxic eateries in the city, you know, considering that New York City is supposed to have it all. Right. Yeah, it is very surprising that there's not so few. an abundance of this. Right. Um, you know, and with less than 10 nearby restaurants carrying such products um, and even fewer in the cities across the U.S., which is when we travel, it's like, oh, what are we going to do? Yeah. Um, you know, but when a, within a week, you guys put your heads together and, um, you know, re- maximize your collective strengths and passions so that people of all walks could afford <laughs> genuinely healthy products, which is really amazing because really that affordable part is 
the most difficult, I feel like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because people can't wrap their head around, you know, spending a certain amount of money on healthy stuff. It doesn't have to be that way. Yeah. Absolutely. So they just launched in September 2014, and they're working to bring products that are completely free of harmful substances, steering free, uh, clear of GMOs, glutens, artificial ingredients, refined excess sugars, and all other toxins. Um, Emily, George, and Gina are constantly researching, consulting healthcare professionals, which I think is really important, attending seminars, obtaining certifications, and studying to make sure that every product is as safe and natural as possible. And have we, when are we noting the K in this? Because George is the K. George is the K. Okay. So George had, <laughs> so he couldn't be here today. It's like, all we want to do is be like, George is the K. <laughs> in the EKG. Well, you did it. You said it. Now <laughs> they know. know. Okay, now I'm good. Now yeah. I'm good. I can move on. <laughs> so EKG Project is teaming up with Press T to bring the diverse uh, people of New York, more delicious, tabotage-free options uh, and with plans to extend nationwide. So you guys can find, we can find your products at Press Tea. Correct. And online as well, at your website? Well, you can uh, shoot me an email and I'll uh, get it to you. All right, cool. Yeah. Really yeah. Cool. Awesome. Nice. So basically, this is not just a project, this is their life. And even from reading their bios, this is what they they live, eat, breathe every day, which is really cool. Yep. Um, and they have experienced themselves the detrimental effects of toxic products and lackluster activity. But more importantly, what a clean lifestyle can do to fix all of that and to make you feel amazing. So they believe that everyone else should feel that way as well. And they know that it can only help you know, lead a better world for everyone. Because honestly, you're so much happier when you are eating well and when you're yeah. eating clean ingredients. You, I, we get cranky sometimes when we cheat. Yes, we do. <laughs> so when yeah. you're it's, eating like, it's like real great while it's happening yeah. and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> the world will be a better place, okay? <laughs> uh, so a little bit about Emily here. Mm-hmm. You were born and raised in Mississippi. Could you guys it, tell? She doesn't really have an accent. I don't. <laughs> <at all. laughs> um, which is st- statistically the most obese state in the U.S. It is. It's still, th- still that? Yes, it still is. Okay. We're just at number one. <laughs> We're number one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, your health and fitness began at a very young age. You were very active in school mm-hmm. and um, in city sports. And like you had said, you had a, f- a few uh, health issues mm-hmm. that kind of gave you, led you to a more restrictive diet. Correct. And, um, you know, that sort of, for you, may have been sort of a saving Absolutely. grace type of thing. Absolutely. That's that's nice to, to know that even though you went through a rough time, it still it benefited you in yeah. the end. I can totally appreciate that now. I, mean, I think that's awesome. I was not grateful at the time. I, I was going to say, yeah. you know, being young and like around everybody and, you know, not, you know, you having to eat differently. It must yeah. have been difficult at the time. Yeah. Um, but you actually went to... Mississippi State University, mm-hmm. and you have two degrees. I do. One in international business uh, with an emphasis on international marketing. Correct. And French. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's right up my alley. Yeah? I, I, I didn't study French in college, but in high school. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It was, it was, I was obsessed. I'm I actually want to like brush back up again. Yeah? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they'd take away my degree if they heard me uh, speak now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that my oh, high wow. school AP French teacher would be really disappointed too. <laughs> yeah, I feel your pain. <laughs> uh, and a previous internship brought you back to New York. It did. And then, you, you know, you worked in a private equity firm and uh, she used her experiences to then conquer the wine and spirits world yep. uh, mm-hmm. by working um with a startup island club brands correct where you created imported and uh, successfully launched several brands nationwide yeah we did wow yeah and that's what i was doing uh for about five years whenever uh, my body just decided you can't take all the alcohol anymore it's just that's whenever i really started focusing on the paleo lifestyle cool so yeah interesting yeah um and in 2012 you moved to Nashville, Tennessee. I did. To be closer to your family. We love Nashville. It's our other, one of our other favorite things. Yes. We yeah. almost moved there ourselves. Yeah. Oh, so great. Yeah. Yeah. Right before we started losing weight, actually. Uh-huh. Yep. Um, and then you went to a wellness clinic there because things were getting a little difficult for you. Mm-hmm. And, um, and things d- drastically improved. And then you wanted to help others, which is, reminds me of us. Of, of course. Yeah. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, once you know, it's, you can't get back. Yeah, right? it's Definitely. true. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, definitely. And in 2013, you moved back to New York, mm-hmm. and you and Gina started South by North, which then it all kind of clicked. That <laughs> was the best South like, ever. <laughs> you should come <laughs> back. <laughs> like, I was never coming back to New York. Never. Yep. Um, what? I know. I think with one year, she was, I was I'm like, okay. really good salesperson. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. And it's a health and fitness venture. Mm-hmm. And then you discovered that... 
from, you know, doing a lot of studying fitness and health uh, and reading Mark Sasson's Primal Blueprint Lifestyle, you were actually already doing it. Absolutely. <laughs> Isn't that great? She's yeah. like, I should have wrote this. Guy wrote a book. Yeah, it was <laughs> awesome. It kind of justified everything I'd been saying to everyone else. And all my, all my Southern folks back home, they're like, why are you doing this? This is crazy. I'm like, no, here's a reason. <laughs> this like, you is fry why. It. So paleo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome and then you wanted to you know find a way to apply that into business mm -hmm. and um and then gina and george came into play yeah. and and here and here you are so it's it's pretty awesome that i mean the way things lead up to what you're doing now yep and I love what you say that you've put your heart and soul into the EKG project and you dream of bringing truly healthy, affordable food to those who have limited to no access, including your family, uh, you know, all over the country. And this lifestyle has changed everything about you. Absolutely. That's, 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 really cool. that's awesome. I think about that too with us with 4C and like how I would love to go speak in other states to kind of be like, you know, I was really overweight and I know it's hard. You think, you know, well, you're in New York City and you can have access to all these things, but it's possible to do it no matter where you are. Yeah. So you guys are helping that, that happen, Absolutely. which is yeah. awesome. Really cool. So Gina is the north. Of the of this of the South by North, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> a, a native New Yorker and Division One collegiate athlete. What did you play? Uh, softball. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. What position? Left field. Oh, Lisa was a pitcher. I was a catcher, but not in college. Oh, we we weren't that fancy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Gina got her BA from from Fordham in two thousand and four, and then her masters uh, in two thousand and five. She started her career at. A, how do you pronounce that? Olivia Mather. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Where she worked on digital direct response for, uh, and branding for clients. A lot of really big clients. Basically, she's a superstar <laughs> from, from this bio. Um, and she was part of the integral, integral part of the team that won Media Week's Media Plan of the Year for Six Flags. That's pretty awesome. Uh, currently in 2000 and concurrently in 2008, Gina developed Fordham University's first digital advertising course, where she continues to teach each spring at the Rose Hill campus. Is that the campus? Wow! In, in the city here, in the Bronx. No, nice. I've, yeah, I've been there for uh, six six years now. That's yeah. fun. Now, do you like t <laughs> tell the students about what else you're doing, like the KJ and everything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I do, but it's That's always really cool. funny because I walk in and you know I'm five three and I look like I'm twelve. And so <laughs> um, every time I walk in, they like look check their syllabus and they look at me and then they look back down. And they check the door to make sure it's the right classroom. And I'm like, yeah, sit down. I'm your teacher. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> so and then you're like, here's your syllabus. So get ready to yeah. work. <laughs> so phones down, phones off. Yeah. Let's go. That's awesome. Yes. Cool. So while doing that as well, you continue, you were working on the side still and continuing your role uh, in digital strategy and online buying across the Comcast business. And then in 2010, she redirected her career to digital sales and started the first sales team in New York for online recommendation giant Rich Relevance. And then you moved on. Now you're still with Conversant, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. Cool. Um, and she's a current member of the sales team working primarily across strategic accounts and big brands. So this is my favorite. Melding her passions for health, fitness, and sales at Conversant Media, Gina has established herself as the fit sales rep. Love That's that. <laughs> cool. What do you, are you, so you're able to do fitness stuff at the... Yeah, so um, I every morning I'll be at a different studio, right. a different brand. So just to give you an example, like this morning I was up and working out with Heineken cool. at Barry's Boot Camp. Tomorrow morning I'll be with the Mondelez team over at Flywheel. Uh, Friday I'll be with the Lifetime Network at Barry's Boot Camp. Nice. It's um, so great that you can incorporate your work into your fitness. So yeah. It like doesn't, nothing interferes with one another. Yeah, and, I mean I found when I was um, a buyer that I was making unhealthy choices. I had no time to work out. Right. Um, they work longer hours. So for me, it helps build that relationship and really um, check something both off our lists. Mm -hmm. You kind mm -hmm. of bond. Um, it's healthier. It's better than going and drinking your lunch and right. doing the Madison Avenue thing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I love that. I feel like we you definitely have a connection and a bond with the people you're in a fitness class with. So yeah. to also then be able to do business while you're working out, I think that's really, I think that's something that people should look at more broadly in the world of business. And how much fitness can have a positive effect on that. So that's mm -hmm. really cool. Um, and I love this. Her real world antics are documented digitally via hashtag, hashtag Conversize. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. So it's conversant and exercise. And it's her, her calling card amongst the ad world and the fitness community. I'm going to look it up right now. You're going to check up that hashtag right now. <laughs> <laughs> so Gina, of course, is passionate about health and fitness in addition to her career, uh, often training with some of the world's best athletes, as well as modeling for several fitness and wellness websites. She's become a role model for family, friends, and people of all industries for her hard work and dedication to a truly healthy lifestyle. Um, so then combining her knowledge, experience, and passions for health, fitness, sales, and community, she's super excited to be launching EKG with Emily and George. And I love what you say being able to make 
Such a positive difference, not only in New York, but eventually nationwide is a dream come true. When you feel better and look better, everything is better. She can't wait to help everyone feel the champion within. Really cool. Thank you. Done. That was great. You ready for the philosophy? I am ready. Okay. Because EKG Project <laughs> genuinely believes that a truly healthy lifestyle should be a right, not a privilege. Yep. Truth. Everybody should be able to do it. It's crazy. No matter how much money you have. No excuses, nothing. Absolutely. And what's, you know, unfortunately, in most parts of the country, you guys, you know, in the world, you know, um, you know, this is not the case. Because even in our nation's richest and most educated regions, supply is dominated not by what is best for consumers, Mm -hmm. but by what makes the most money for companies and stockholders, even at the expense of people's lives and well-being. And most of the time, even if they're telling you that it's healthy, they're lying. Yes. Yeah. So it's more like, oh, gluten free. Yeah. No. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> so EKG's ultimate goal is for everyone on the planet to have and actually choose the best, healthiest option in every situation, not the lesser of two evils. No one should have to consume toxic foods and products because they don't have access or cannot afford the healthy option. This means that people need healthy options in the first place, along with understanding the understanding of and the desire. So this is right here where the education, access, and affordability collide. And that's where you guys plan to kind of, you know, do your magic. Oh, yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Got a, a, a long road ahead of us, but we're ready to go. I you think just decided, think and I think you you're, you're already, you're huge. making a, a plunge, so a, b- a big splash. We're so jumping in there. Definitely, absolutely. Um, so they want to help the naturalist movement grow so drastically that there's uh, no demand at all for GMOs, harmful pesticides, glutens, chemicals, excess, sugar, excess sugars, or any other toxins. And how are they going to do that, Lee? <laughs> she's like wow <laughs> I'm like so wait did you change them <laughs> okay you didn't I was no. like oh my god why is she asking me this question <laughs> um, EKG Project is teaming up with fellow health enthu- enthusiasts including bakers and chefs mm-hmm. and fitness professionals to bring you truly healthy food and beverage products at affordable prices now you guys also want to do educational events as well correct Tell me a little bit more about that. Um, you know, we just know so many people that are in the health and fitness world who who have so much to say. Mm-hmm. And they can, you know, they specialize in certain things. They specialize in fitness where we haven't. Or they specialize in a certain uh, part of the food world where we haven't. And, you know, we want to uh, bring that and give them a platform to tell other people about it. Because, you know, we don't know everything, but we know people who know what we don't know. It's funny. It's kind of like, you know, what we like to do as well. Just right. sort of bring as much information to people as possible. Absolutely. Because the more educated you are, the more you can see that this isn't just... It's not just baked goods. Yeah. (laughs) There's a bigger issue that we're looking at. Yeah. Which is like the the fact that food is killing people. Yeah. So, yeah, it's really, it needs to be spoken of. You guys are doing good stuff. Political change is actually another big part of that, which is awesome. Um, So, you know, the food industry is really profit driven and they want to try to fight it on both ends, not only with product, but with, you know, political action. So they're teaming up with people, like they said, to share their beliefs and passions. And if you guys are really interested in this, in this, um, project or this what's the word i'm looking for cause yes thank you <laughs> as we talk about we've slept 13 hours and three days <laughs> <laughs> we're with you don't worry right so they're not just a healthy body company they're a healthy soul company so that's what they're all about I like that and we can finally talk about some goodies and eat them because <laughs> my body's like oh my god would you just i'm almost already grabbed one i know me too <laughs> I was like, just talking and eating <laughs> let's talk about the products let's do it so you guys have fitness products. This is my favorite on the fitness products portion of your website. They all say like the ingredients and then in the end it says with love or and love. It's great. Awesome. Um, the pre-workout. <laughs> How do you It's true. I li- love. She's teasing her right now. No, no I, <laughs> I listen. I'm serious. I listen to positive music. That's when I'm awesome. Like, so I, I really make sure that the environment is positive. If that has an effect on it, I'm going to make sure it, it does. It does make a difference. Yeah. Because I made like four different pumpkin loaves this Thanksgiving and each of them came out a little different. <laughs> Depending on who it was for, who it was how, for. what mood you were in. Yep. Yeah. It yeah. makes a difference. Yeah. Maybe the last one was really good. <laughs> 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 so you guys have protein drinks, vanilla, coconut. How do you pronounce this? Matcha. Matcha. I'm not good at that. <laughs> Matcha, coconut, <laughs> chocolate, chai, protein. I should have just said Kai. Chocolate, chai, protein, <laughs> tea, and chocolate, black tea as well. Yep. What is uh, the protein that you guys put in the drinks? Um, uh, well, for the vanilla and matcha coconut, it's this grass-fed um, whey. Oh, cool. Oh, that nice. we use. Um, yeah, it's organic. 
Um, and we we Can have coconut milk and less. cinnamon. And uh, <laughs> the matcha one doesn't have cinnamon, but it does have matcha. Which, if you need a little kick with your protein drink, it gives you a little bit of energy because it's just like ground up green tea, right. that kind of thing. Um, and the chocolate cha and the chocolate black tea. I mean, it's just uh, plant based, it's sprouted mm-hmm. uh, protein. If those who are vegetarians don't want to go the the other route, nice. so, so it, these are all up at at. Um, Pressy. Pressy as uh, well. These aren't sitting on the shelf at Press, but if you uh, shoot me an email, I can have it made within a day and ready for you. Awesome. I yeah. need some of that. That's exciting. Oh, it's so good. Very cool. It's so good. So we, we are on to the pastries, mm. the moment everyone's been waiting for. <laughs> so we have some photos so you guys can see this stuff a little closer. But we have, you guys have paleo donuts. Mm-hmm. They come in regular chocolate, chocolate covered, caramel drizzled, chocolate coconut, strawberry jam, and raspberry jam. Mm-hmm. I think we have a photo of the chocolate ones. Yeah, there they are. <clears throat> no problem. Lisa, do you want to try one? I Of course I do. Go for and it. I saw these on the website. I was like, stop. They don't have donuts. They have paleo muffin bites that come in banana nut, chocolate chunk, blueberry, and chocolate walnut. They have paleo brownies, which I don't think I grabbed a photo of those. Uh, chocolate chip cookie scones. Double mm-hmm. chocolate chip cookie scones. Mm-hmm. Raw cookie dough brownies and roasted coconut flakes, which I was really obsessed with the coconut flakes. <laughs> I, don't, I wish you could see my face. Like really up close when I first took the the bite of this. I saw it. Did you see it? I you like saw it. it. Yeah, they're <laughs> good, right? It is so good, Sean. Yeah. Go, Go for, for it. The donut. Y'all have to try them. The donut holes are the exact same. Wait, if y'all you didn't? Oh, chalk. you took the donut. You didn't take the hole. It was the same thing. Yeah, I'm just saying huh? the donut. Looked, the donut looked pretty. Okay, sorry, Sean. Would you like a donut hole? <laughs> 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 Uh, do you want me to talk? Because you can't mm-hmm. talk. Okay. <laughs> so if they have yeah, lunch talk. and dinner options as well, because yeah, Lisa's just going to keep cool. eating. <laughs> yeah, you like? Love it. Awesome. Thank you. Really cool. That one was made with extra love then. <laughs> <laughs> they, for lunch, they have the Paleo Ramen Rito Bowl. Mm-hmm. What exactly is this? You want to go? Okay, uh, so it's basically a salad. Um, we have organic greens, and mm-hmm. then we um, have the zucchini noodle mix that they noodle the zucchini and um, have like the peppers and onions mixed in with it. And we use um, some salsa and a Vietnamese pickle, and we can put um, grass fed and grass finished beef on it, or you can use free range chicken or um, uh, pasture raised pork, and you can add that on it, or you can just make it vegetarian and do the paleo noodle thing. But it's organic, so good. Cool. Yeah. And are these at press or you have yep. to? Wow. Those are at press. Wow. Really nice. I'm going, I'm going down there. Where exactly uh, is press <laughs> again? Uh, it's at 7th Avenue and Perry Street. Okay, so it's down the West Village. Yep, West nice. Village. Mm. What's, t- talk about the test kitchen. Is this stuff that not <laughs> is necessarily not like out there yet? or yeah, It's stuff we're working on. So the pumpkin brownies, bacon pecan chocolate chip cookies. How are uh, those? They have to good. be amazing. Those they're have good. To be next. Yeah, they <laughs> they're do. So you know, um, I rendered a lot of uh, bacon fat cooking with these. So instead of using a lot of coconut oil, I use uh, the and it's organic bacon. Use, so good. Oh, oh my god. So good. One time I like accidentally cooked like asparagus and bacon fat, and I was like, I'm never cooking it. That's no accident. Again. <laughs> That's no accident. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So these are just things that. Um, Foods that we grew up with and we wanted to make them healthy. So cool. Yeah. Get in the kitchen, just make stuff up. Nice. I think you know, so you don't have to sacrifice some of your your favorite meals. We used to, you try to come up with the things that you are craving, and so you, you don't have to you know cut them out completely. So a lot of times it's really just Emily and I goofing around in the kitchen. Um, That's so cool. And thinking, yeah, how I love this modify. figs in a blanket. What is that? So we have a picture of that one too. Yeah, those are the organic That's the, figs. Those are the macaroons. That one right to the right, John. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Figs yeah. in a blanket. Perfect. Oh, oh that was the uh, the figs wrapped in um, prosciutto di parma. Um, I was like, I wonder if they can bring these tonight. <laughs> I was just yeah. sad. We totally could have. Um, and they're drizzled with balsamic uh, vinegar um, reduction, and that I reduced. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you sprinkled some uh, nuts on there. Is that right? Pecans or I think I crushed up some pecans? Yeah. yeah. Been, wow. But just you know, taking the some of the stuff that I. Again, like love on a Sunday. And mm-hmm. it's, you know how do you, how do you make it? Where I know a lot it? of people who would be obsessed with that dish. Oh, and that needs like yeah. We need, we and how do we get that? that? Do we have to email you for that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean we could totally make it for you, but it's so easy. Oh, yeah. shit. I mean it's just figs, prosciutto, balsamic vinegar reduction. Done. Nice. Done. Mm-hmm. This weekend they yeah. also have an amazing salad and a super green zucchini salad. What's in the amazing? Oh. Uh, the amazing salad is cucumber, uh, all organic. Spin- well, actually, it's spinach first, and then cucumber and a uh, green apple. I love green apple on a salad. salad. Yeah, it's amazing. It's so refreshing. It's and so good. Yeah, especially if you um, squeeze a fresh lemon on it, it just soaks it right up. If you mm-hmm. let it sit for about fifteen minutes, it's so, so good. So sweet. Yeah, and really then, cool. Yeah, uh, and if you guys go to their website, all of the most of the ingredients. If you have any allergies, and then some of the nutritional information is there as well. So Correct. Which is really cool. Right. 
So That's the contact info for later, Shauna. <laughs> that's, us. <laughs> that's right go There's to the website. website that's yeah. right we should get to some we're Q&A. ready we definitely are, we could so talk all day how do you how does it feel to contribute to changing the, the way the world eats what do you guys you know it's awesome yeah yeah it's so awesome you know um my family down in mississippi and out in new mexico and ohio i mean they you know they get sick my mom has been so sick for many many years because they dropped like pesticides on the farms and over her house when she was growing up and then just wow. you know she's even married to a doctor and it wasn't until she changed her diet that things really started turning around and it's just awesome to help help spread that to other people so other people don't have to hurt either it's just amazing that's, that's a really good feeling yeah. yeah especially when it hits so close to home yeah it makes a big difference absolutely can you tell us more about what it means to be organic, non-GMO for people who aren't fully versed in that kind of language? It just means no shady ingredients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing shady, nothing chemically modified. If it's going to go in your body and then secretly do some harm to you, or even not so secretly, we don't want it in there. That's it. I think also it it gives... um, people a door in to to paleo. You know, a lot of times you get tons of excuses like I can't I can't have that because I'll have to give up the things that I love to eat like Mm -hmm. brownies or how can I give up my sweet tooth? And so um, for us, it sort of gives them a um, a tone the door to to say it's not scary. This is something you can actually do Mm -hmm. and here's a way to still have the things that you love and then, you know, I, for I mean, friends that, that have tried it, they've gone paleo, and then they're like, oh, well, what do I do when I want, you know, pasta? I'm like, oh, well, there's almond flour pasta, there's spaghetti squash. They're like, oh, I can totally do this. Yeah. And, oh, and two weeks later, I feel so much better. And so it, it kind of gives them, takes them down that path mm-hmm. slowly. That was the same thing in the video from the Set Life. That guy yes. was like, before I made the paleo plunge, <laughs> yeah, I had to know that I could <laughs> have a paleo treat. Yeah, yeah. That's he my hairdresser. I, yeah. Oh, exactly my God, he was, was great. About. He had stomach <laughs> issues. And, uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's and really good. His fiance had an, um, some sort of allergy issue as well, mm. and they both um, feel like a hundred per- thousand percent. That's better amazing. Since cutting out gluten, that's great. And they're like, "Well, thank God you made those paleo treats because yeah. we might not have ever tried it." <laughs> You're there every day. You guys <laughs> made a huge difference. You have to like uh, introduce people like carefully. Definitely. Exactly. I feel like if you do introduce paleo with this stuff. Like, people you're sold. Over it. Well, that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, the people who are so scared because they're going to give up their greatest indulgence. Mm-hmm. We're like, right. we don't have to do that. We're going to hit them right there. Right. <laughs> right Absolutely. There. Yeah. It's a little like, you know, clubbing them off the back of the head and just right. pulling them in. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to talk a little bit about the ingredients. We talked about how you guys choose really good quality, non GMO organic ingredients. But mm-hmm. also, in the video, you talked about how, you know, it's knowing the difference between the kind of consistency you'll get from an almond flour versus like a coconut flour. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and what goes into the product? Um, yeah, so we use um, some people know how to cook with almond flour a little bit other than coconut flour and that's me but we also work with gluten-free breakers who, who help us with a lot of these recipes so um, I'm definitely not the sole source of neither is she of these of these recipes but yeah the the ingredients are almond flour coconut flour coconut oil um, maple syrup um, vanilla extract cinnamon cool I mean it's just really simple things that you can find in your store mm-hmm. nice. yeah and just knowing Definitely. how to work with it. Yeah. yeah. Nothing you can't pronounce. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> like Lisa Matcha. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and, you know, I did a lot of research on um, before we started baking all these things just to learn the tips myself and figure out how to bake with these things. Because it's not like, it, just because you substitute it out for a cup of regular flour for almond flour, it doesn't work the same. So it's right. a, a lot of trial and error, but also there's so much information on the internet. I mean, just go out so there and easy. study it. When I do, when I bake by myself, you know, myself and I'm following a recipe, I'm like, oh shoot, but I only, I have this, but like how, you know, what's the conversion? But it is, it's all there. Yeah. It really is. And you can do it or you can go to get this stuff from mm-hmm. them because it's so good. Thank you. <laughs> so what is the average cost of your baked goods? Probably about four twenty five, four fifty. I mean, we have everything from the donut. I think is about three bucks, maybe maybe three fifty, three twenty five. And then um, our brownie is the most expensive. It is five seventy five. Oh, it's amazing! Did you taste it? Yeah, like <laughs> it's like literally biting into a pure chocolate. Sean. Like I had a heart attack when I tasted it. Have it's, a brownie. It's, it's like it is it's, pure chocolate. It's crazy. We're oh, breaking no. your tray. Oh no, that's okay. Um, and they also brought us the full size and the bite size to show you that like they can make them in either size. Absolutely. Depending if you're having an event. I don't know. Yep. Did you yeah. want that whole big yep. brownie right there? It's so good. <laughs> so do you do all the baking or you have I people? I do. Oh my, That's all sweet. of it. Yeah. That's Holy sweet. cow. That yeah. is so cool. I have never uh, really baked before, before starting this company, and <laughs> now I guess I'm a baker. I'm so jealous. <laughs> that is awesome. She's like, oh, I just decided one day, hey, I'm a baker. That's <laughs> awesome. 
Yeah, well, you get up at 5.30 with me and meet me in the kitchen, okay? <laughs> you get up at 3.30 with us and meet us in Hoboken. Oh, for a run. No. <laughs> oh, I'll pass. I'll take the kitchen. That's right. I'll take it, you too. you can stay in your pajamas. Yes, I can. <laughs> um, so you said you work with um, a lot of bakers to come up with the recipes. Is not kind of... Or do you... Tell me more about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we work with one baker in particular on the paleo recipes. Okay. Um, uh, well, on the paleo pastry recipes. I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, well, she, we say that, you know, this is what we need. This is what we're looking for. Um, it's the chocolate that you use on that is amazing, too. Thank you. I'm it's a chocolate a, freak. It's so. dairy free. <laughs> Uh, awesome. Yeah. Oh my God. I really can't good. right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's not okay. I'll ask the next question. Please. What has been the response to your products from people who are new to paleo, which we spoke about? Your mm-hmm. friend actually went paleo for it. So uh, people who come into the shop, are they just like, oh my God, I can't even believe it. Like everyone's, it's, I'm sure everyone's been raving. Yeah. I mean, even just again, bringing it back to my, my old school Italian family mm-hmm. and bringing in that home on the weekends or over the holidays. Um, they're like, I c- cannot, they can't wrap their head around the way it tastes right. as opposed to, you know, the fact that it's paleo and it's not terrible for you. And I always say, you know, it doesn't have to be bad for you. If you're using good ingredients, it doesn't have to be, mm-hmm. you know, it doesn't have to kill your diet. Uh, it just depends on what's actually in, in the products. Yeah. Yeah, so at least for, for my family, as it's been, um, you know, like trying to push a Buick by myself, um, <laughs> it's <laughs> I've made some movements forward. You can relate. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I do. Pies mm-hmm. on. Right there. <laughs> so, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Um, do you guys have catering options? Yeah. Shoot me an email, and then every option is a catering option. So we invited <laughs> the ladies out to our um, 4C party, but they actually had a party they were catering that night. So. Yeah, for the sweat life. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Really cool. We I just did their holiday party, too, last yeah, night. Yeah, we did it last oh, night. Cool. Awesome. So we, I make a, um, a, a cupcake donut. Wow. Yeah. Well, actually, a donut cupcake. I'm sorry. Reverse it. Right. Um, so it's basically kind of, you know, the same ingredients. We just put it, we can do minis, we can do big ones. So I have this really cool one. We do a big cupcake and then we do a little um, mini donut hole on top and just like melt the chocolate all on top of it. It's, it's awesome. It's really Sounds good. Amazing. Thank you. The donut is awesome. So if people aren't in New York City, how can they access their your products? Um, uh, right now we aren't out of the NYC area, okay. but we definitely are working on it. We were just cool. in Boston. We have some contacts in DC we're working with. Um, my, my brother out in Ohio and actually even my mom in New Mexico and in Colorado, we're all talking about how can we get this out there? Nice. So, Great. Yeah. And what about you guys? What's like your particular favorite item that you'll be definitely indulging in maybe over the holidays or that you uh, just can't resist? I, I've never, you know, the donuts just kill me. Yeah. Like, you know, they just, they look good. And then I've had four. Like, I know. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, where'd all four of them go? No, they really taste <laughs> unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Oh. Where are we moving on? We want to know what's next for you guys. Yes. So you brought up some really exciting news when you came here tonight so let's tell everyone about it so we are working on an organic meal delivery system um so for 35 dollars you'll get an organic breakfast lunch and dinner um wow yeah so you would uh subscribe for either a five day 10 day 20 or 30 it just depends you know cool. throughout the month and if you, you buy in advance we're going to leverage our power of having multiple people sign up so we can buy in larger quantities from mm-hmm. this farm so we can really keep the price down so we're really trying to stick it to making it affordable awesome um, yeah. and then it'll be delivery or it'll be pickup location uh, both cool yeah, really both. cool I that's mean but great. $35 for three organic meals that's, that's incredible I yeah. mean if you do the math with our groceries it's oh, really oh forget it yeah that's definitely. unbelievable well, you guys will have to let us know when that launches so we can share as well uh, yeah, it'll be definitely. in January so yeah. it'll be, you'll be hearing from us soon we're very excited to hear more about definitely. it definitely awesome. and I, you guys were you know, we're right on the same page as you with being, you know, overachievers and, you know, passionate about our dreams. Do you guys have any advice for people who maybe have an idea or a vision, but they don't quite really know where to go with it or what to do? Any, anything that gets you like really pushes you to do what you're doing? Yeah. Um, you know, go for it. You yeah. have a passion and you have a talent or multiple, I guess. And there's a reason that you have that. It's because when you do it, you love it. And when you love it, you, you bring happiness to the world. So what I recommend that you do is you find the, the, the fewest amount of things that you need um, to start whatever business that you want to do. Awesome. So it's called the, the lean startup method. And that's exactly how, how mm-hmm. we operated lean yeah. startup with the pastries. And then we're going to expand to the meal delivery system. I think we both uh, feel very much. Pa- uh, we're in the same vein of thought about when it's when, when you're passionate about it, it's not work, right? right. Like you're right. not getting up and be like, Oh, all right. I put my pants on. Uh, I got a big donut door. today. Right. <laughs> you wake up, you're like, great. This is my job. And right. like, I, you know, I'm actually, moving the needle in the world and that's that's you know that i think for me and, and and emily it's the most i think important thing yeah cool really, it, it really drives you yeah just one step like take the first smallest step the 
just the small stuff. Just take the small stuff, and then the yep. next one, the it's next true. one. That's true. Amazing things happen. It applies to anything. If you mm-hmm. want to start a, a fitness journey, a weight loss journey, a health journey, yeah. um, or a business, whatever it is, it's really important. So thank you guys for inspiring. Thank Everyone you so much. Thank us you. As well. yes. If you guys are interested in working with EKG as a chef, baker, or creator, you want to feature their products in your store or restaurant, maybe you have additional comments or questions, you want to try their stuff, you can email them at info at ekgproject.com or you can go to ekgproject.com to learn more and get more info. We have the contact information there. Again, it's info at ekgproject.com or www.ekgproject.com. Yes, and as always, feel free to contact us for any additional information and we'll be posting this stuff on our blog soon. Absolutely. And a quick Tabata, the ladies recommended some push-up burpees and jump squats. So we're just going to alternate those. Um, it's about, if you don't know, it's a quick four-minute exercise you can put with any other exercise that you're doing. So you're going to do 20 seconds of push-up burpees with a 10-second break, 20 seconds of jump squats with a 10-second break, and you're just going to repeat that for a total of four minutes. Anything you guys want to add about EKG or anything that we didn't cover today or you think we... Um, you know what? I do want to mention one thing with sure. our, all of our pastries. They're uh, mostly organic, all non-GMO. They're gluten-free, grain-free, dairy-free, and soy-free. Really important. Yeah. Very important. Good to know. And they don't taste any of that. Nope. Or, or maybe you're actually <laughs> redefining what that is that supposed to taste, taste like. like. That's so what we're trying to do. I have to say, you guys, get down to, if you're in New York City, get down there and check them out. Or and go to the website. Yeah. Shoot Emily an email. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. You but won't regret it. I'm you here. absolutely. This is this. Oh, did we just lose feed? Are we good? Okay, cool. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for our show this week. Thanks to Emily and Gina of EKG Project for joining us and sharing about their delicious paleo baked goods. As always, a huge thank you to Skinny Man and 3-1 for the help of the production of our show. We hope everyone has a safe and wonderful holiday and a happy new year, and we will see you in 2015. And remember, choose, choose commit, commit, challenge, and change. change. Thanks, guys. Have, Have a great, great night. night. I was like, what? <laughs> 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 well, technical difficulty there. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, okay. Sorry about oh, that. Oh. Awesome. Thank you.